I know. I know. You're upset. You're scared. I understand. Just relax. Relax. You're just coming out for a visit. What a pretty uh, sausage this is. Albeit a very large sausage. This is a, a West African Gaboon that was given to me uh, by uh, some folks that contacted me earlier in the week. They, uh, they brought them to the Hamburg show or heard to the Hamburg show. There I go. I, I'm always uh, uh, missing up my gender. I do know what gender I am though. Uh, at any rate, uh, uh, my hat's off to Dave and his family uh, because this girl has been well taken care of and don't whack me I can see it in your eyes Hi. they took excellent care of her she's perfectly healthy she is just gorgeous as far as coloration goes. They reminded me that she's probably a bit thirsty because uh, she hasn't had her drink this week and that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, she, uh, <laughs> she keeps a watchful eye on me. She is just a, a magnificent Gabby. I was hoping uh, uh, it was a male because I'll tell you if this was a male Gabby uh, I would consider breeding uh, uh, Miss Gabby because I haven't uh, I don't often see very attractive West African gaboons they can they can run from plain to dull to stunning like this one yeah I know you don't know who I am you don't trust me yet well that's two of us because I don't trust you but just uh, have a drink there you go there you go have a nice drink uh, at any rate uh, Dave uh, wanted to release uh, the animal into my custody and care because uh, being a, a fan of mine on YouTube uh, he and his family realized that I would uh, take good care of this beauty and boy she is a pretty snake I'll bring the camera down in a minute as soon as she gets done drinking but there isn't a scale out of place on this animal. Woohoo! Go Dave! Oh, is that tasty, huh? Yeah, you bet. You bet. We love our bitters here. We can take good care of you, huh? Oh, is that good? Huh? Her pupil is fully constricted. Want some more? Huh? Unfortunately, I'm a little short on space, so I'll uh, I'll fix her up in uh, a nice cage. Not the uh, not the best uh, suite in the hotel here, but uh, perfectly good for a very lovely Gabby. How are you, huh? Yeah. Want to try a little bit more water, huh? There we go. She's 
a pretty one. I think she has more in the as far as nasal horns than Gabby does. Magnificent. Notice, folks, uh, my hand is uh, way low, so it's not an easy target. Yeah, yeah, I figured that would uh, make you a little upset, that's why I did that. Well, let's, uh, let's go over here and, uh, and say hello to her. Hopefully she won't say hello to the camera in uh, a negative way. Look at that, isn't she a beauty? She is just a very, very beautiful gaboon. Uh, and yes, I have seen ugly gaboons before. Uh, but generally speaking, uh, not terribly often. Look at the very nice uh, a pattern on the top of her head including the uh, leaf vein down the center, which is a common attribute with the two eye spots at the bottom. But a lot of times you won't see quite so many little dots and specks. Uh, that's quite nice. So with that said, let's uh, Let's put this girl back into her temporary quarters until I can uh, uh, clean up uh, a, uh, a flat for her here at the hotel. Seems that uh, Miss Taipan here is working on shedding. She was opaque this week. I just uh, sprayed her down this morning uh, when I came in just to make sure she would have an easy job of it and it looks like she's taken the hint you know it's wet it feels right so I'll just uh, I'll just rub my face until it comes off well that's smooth that's why I put rough stuff in there for you you dummy This is a pain. You get that nice stone there. But if you like to play inverted, uh, go right ahead. I'm certainly not going to intervene unless I have to. 
And that's why I sprayed you down so those eye caps would peel back uh, uh, perfectly. So I'll let her go on her way and then I'll feed her later. Okay, she got the chin flap off and now is going inverted and working on the upper uh, plates. Trying to be as inconspicuous to those large, all-seeing eyes that she has. So far she seems to be pretty uh, intensely concentrating on her task of removing her old sh skin. What the hell goes on here? You go for, away for a week and you got this huge brown snake now. Mr. Brown is getting to be quite a large creature. And as you'll see, still uh, very much interested in food. Hi, bud. <laughs> Notice I say hi, bud, from behind the uh, plexiglass. Uh, oh. Ah! success we have eye caps removed now those trees over there are just perfect for getting the rest of that shed off oh how pretty your head looks oh how dangerous that end is though holy cow Look at her go. She's just uh, stripping that right off. Whoa, what a honey. My goodness. It's amazing uh, what a little, uh, a little misting does uh, right before they're ready to commence shedding. Oh boy, she's a pro. Look at that. Look at that. Imagine how many muscles and neurons are firing there to create that movement. Just think of the physiology involved in that. Look at that. That is just, just an incredibly uh, uh, coordinated uh, motion. Ah, Mother Nature just fascinates me and, and all the things, uh, how they work and sometimes how they don't work. But my goodness, and look at her beauty. Beautiful rust or orange colored stripe down her back. She's just cruising. The tough part was the head, huh? Yep, she's going to probably come out the door of the uh, hut there. Okay, and here she comes, and we're working right down to the very end. And just in case, uh, as she drags it a little further, she's got it so she'll go under the hut, and it will pull off and, uh, and not stay on her. to get it without disturbing her I'll just hold it down a little bit with the hook hopefully she won't come over here because my hands are smelling my mite like mice come on hurry up get out of it come on Oh yeah, when it, now we see motion, huh? Now we see motion. 
And she's really got it plastered under the edge here. Oh my goodness. Oh, looks like it's almost there. Uh-oh. Are we going to do poo-poo in Taipan cam? Very rare if it's done. Oh, it is poo-poo in Taipan cam. Oh, my goodness. And I'm still alive. That could change instantaneously, though. Okay. Well, beautiful. Nice job there, sweetheart. Just got that sucker right off. Huh? See if I can get it out without tearing it. Having a perfect Taipan shed would be very nice. And it looks like we've done that. Now for those that don't believe me, there's the young king uh, working on munching down a mouse. A uh, frozen thawed fuzzy. Yes, I know you saw the movement. That's why I'm not coming over. Because that snake really wants to kill me. And I know it will just spit out that uh, food. Uh, and, uh, and just uh, come to the glass and want to gnaw on my arm or fingers or nose, preferably. I can be like that guy in India that got bit by a King Culber right on the nose and he lock the end of his nose off to save his ass but uh, King Culbras can be uh, uh, turned on to rodents all it takes is uh, a lot of work and patience and and I can't take credit for this uh, my good friend uh, Eric Marquette uh, uh, got this little little beastie uh, feeding on rodents and I'm sure he can tell you that it was a lot of a lot of work You know, uh, I hate force feeding, but that's basically pretty much what you have to do uh, for a while until they they get the idea that uh, this is food and this is what you're gonna get to eat and uh, their jaws are like vice grips. They just, uh, when they don't want to open their mouth, they really don't. And you're always worried about injuring the animal while you're trying to keep it alive and get it feeding. It, uh, there is a fine line there, but, uh, but they will eat uh, rodents after they're uh, uh, conditioned to do so. So I'm going to leave the snake room and let him eat without any stress or strain. And that way uh, it gets the nourishment it needs to get bigger and stronger and more capable of killing me with a single bite. So there we have the young king uh, munching away. Woohoo. Thank you, Eric.